it's a new year, it's a new team, it's a new game. You're working and prepping hundreds of days and hundreds of hours. It's a grind, 24-7 football nonstop. I hear the pads popping. I see people coming together as a group. As a football junkie, that's art. No matter how many ice baths you get in, you're gonna be hurting a little bit. Those fall Saturdays are the culmination of months of sweat and blood. It's a dream that you've been thinking about all your life, but once you get there, it can be an eye-opening experience. Got your juices flowing, you're excited, you're anxious. We always tell each other one unit, one goal. Approach every day like it's your last. Intercepted! He's gonna score! Touchdown! It is picked off! He's gonna get a pick six! Oh, did he catch it? Yes! Our ultimate goal is to win a Big Ten championship. Anything less is unacceptable in our eyes. I wear my blue jersey to really remind me of who I am, where I come from, what I'm working for, and to really pay tribute to those guys that helped me get there and the guys that are doing it now. It's a jersey that I wore as a freshman that scout team wide receivers wear. Touchdown Tuesday! He just wears that underneath his, his uniform and that reminds him every play that, hey, I was a scout team guy and I didn't really have this opportunity. And now that I do, I'm gonna showcase what I learned from scout team and I'm gonna give it to you guys every Saturday. I wear it every practice, I wear it every game. The only game I forgot it at was UCLA. It was literally like a hurricane was going through the locker room. I mean, people were trying to find jerseys, get markers, color in a white jersey, make it blue. But we know that if it comes down to a crucial situation, we can go to them. He got to go against NFL caliber players, guys that uh, are in the NFL now. So it helped him develop his skill in terms of running routes and competing. Eric Hag, Prince of Mukamara, Dijon Gomes, Alfonso Denner, those guys really taught me the importance of practice. He busted his butt every day, worked hard and persevered, came out to get better each and every day and it's paid off for him. The opportunity for me to get to play scout team it was absolutely the most vital year I've ever had of playing football. At the goal line! Touchdown! His afro is a mess. It's large. It smells like fruit. I started growing my afro my junior year in high school. After my junior year, I cut it at the beginning of my senior year, and I just couldn't stand my head being shaved like that. I thought about cutting it a couple times, but <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a bad idea. It just fits him. It kind of expresses myself. I'm goofy, I'm outgoing. I know the blue jersey's goofy, but that's not important to me. I just want to have a good time with my teammates, and I really do. Good, other way, other way, other way. DBs, left goal of the line, top of the hat, top of the hat. Flip it up real quick, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm from a small town in Wisconsin. Lived in the country, grew up you know, around uh, fields and things like that. In high school, I played quarterback and safety. Our senior year, we won state. I was all state at quarterback. And then at safety, I love trying to intercept passes, knocking them down, being like the last resort, making sure nothing got past me. Being a walk-on is not easy. You really gotta love what you do. We brought him in strictly to be our scout team quarterback against the spread teams. Saw a guy that could definitely make plays happen with his feet and wasn't a great thrower. I didn't want to tell him that, but he wasn't a great thrower, so went to him, presented the opportunity to either become a DB or a wide receiver. Going deep, Abernell is wide open. He's got it inside the five and a touchdown. There's a wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers named Jordy Nelson. He reminded me of him a lot. Here's this guy that nobody thinks can really run, and all of a sudden he's running behind you. Abernell's behind the defense. Touchdown! Going from walk on a scholarship guy, and it's not easy, so it was definitely great to earn that scholarship and you know, feel like I was part of the team. Touchdown. 
here's a kid now that doesn't go home and just become a student and an athlete. He goes home, he's got to balance a, a wife and all that goes with it. My wife's name is Rachel. You gotta get some points if you wanna win. That's 300. We met at Bible study. Me and Ethan Armstrong, he's a linebacker on the team. We both were in the Bible study together. And the first night of Bible study, Rachel was across the room. And I didn't know her at all. That was the first night I met her. On the way home, me and Ethan were talking. I said, I'm going to marry her. Like, I just knew it was crazy. And then it was only about six months, seven months from when we met. And I asked for her hand in marriage. May 26th, this past May, we got married. Oh, 1500 I got it all. <laughs> I'll take 750 I got more than what any other guy has because I have football here, and then when I go home, I get a little break for a little bit. Good game. Nice try, y'all. Easy champ. Kevin Schneider is our number one fan. Kevin Snyder is an individual whose who's passion for Northwestern reminds us every day of how lucky we are to work at a place like this. He just loves sports. Before he was talking, he was reading. He would grab the newspaper out of our hands and we'd look over and see what he was looking at and we'd read the back scores. When Kevin first started coming into our offices, it was to pick up schedule cards. We lay out all of our giveaways on a purple counter. How long have you been collecting cards? Since. 1990, well, started high school. How many cards do we have here? Thousands. Thousands. Oh, the one on my wife, that was from last year's um, Northwestern, Northwestern basketball schedule. Kevin works at Dominic's Grocery Store, which is located just north of our stadium up on Green Bay Road. He stops by about a half an hour before work. We have a quick chat, and then he heads up to his job. 